All right, to solve uh, this problem, I have a couple things going in. I have a, a, this pool, and I have a pipe that's filling it, and it takes 12 hours. And I have another pipe that's emptying it, and that takes 15 hours. So um, I have an inlet uh, pipe, and I have a, a separate outlet pipe. And that's a T, um, inlet. So let me think about the rates for these. Um, on its own, the inlet pipe can fill it in 12 hours. So that means in one hour, it can get it 1 12th full. The outlet pipe can empty it in 15 hours. So that means in one hour, it can get it 1 15th empty. So I'm going to treat that as like negative filling, you know, because it's emptying it. Uh, the question is, if they're working together, how much time will it take them to do one pool? So I'm just going to call my time x. And what I'm talking about is my work here. Together, they're going to fill one pool. So it's going to be equal to 1. I know that rate times time is work. So um, here, sorry about that. I have rate times time. So about 1 12th an hour times how many hours? So that equals x over 12, right? Like that's an x over 1. Uh, negative 1 15th of it full. Gosh, sorry. Uh, negative 1 15th of it full times how much time it takes. That's that. And so working together, filling it and emptying it, and it's we're just doing one pool. So then I have to solve that. So um, lowest common denominator of 12 and 15. I can I have a lot of choices. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use 12 times 15. I'm just gonna be lazy. And I multiply every side by 12. And notice here that like uh, that divides out, so that leaves a 15x. That divides out, that 15, so that leaves me a minus 12x. And then 1 times 12 times 15. Plus 15 is 180. And let's see, 15 minus 12, that's 3x. Divide by 3, 60 hours. So it would take 60 hours if these were both left open to fill the pool.